Do I know how? No. Is this the worst idea I've ever had? Maybe. Is it gonna work? I really don't know. Hey y'all, I'm Connie, and today I'm gonna be making wax seals from crayons. Wax seals obviously used to be used back in the day to seal envelopes and people would use like their signet rings to prove who it was. That's where the whole stamping thing came from. It's still popular today. You see it most often on like wedding invitations, acceptance letters to Hogwarts, things we've all received. So I fell down a real rabbit hole of the internet the other day of people stamping these wax seals. On Instagram especially, I was watching a lot of Ripple's Paper Lover, also JW Lettering. I watched hours of it and my whole thought the entire time was, I gotta do that. I gotta. Since I am definitely not getting married anytime soon, I am only doing this for the fun colors and the fun craft. Also potentially secret messages. Now it's totally possible to buy the appropriate wax online, but I was looking around the office and we have a ton of old and used crayons, so I thought that we could reuse them possibly and make the wax seals from those. Turns out a lot of people have already also come up with this idea when on the internet, I am not alone. I'm excited to try it for myself and see if I can actually get it to work. So let's go ahead and try our first method. Let's just stamp this yard. Mm, we're cutting that. <laughs> We're going to be trying the craziest idea first, also possibly the laziest. I saw somebody with actual wax sticks put them inside of a hot glue gun, and I thought, you know what's the perfect shape for a hot glue gun? A crayon. So in theory, we should be able to feed the crayon in here and just use it like a regular hot glue stick and then just stamp it and that'll work. This could be a one minute video. If it says more than one minute down here, that means we failed. So the first thing we need to do is we need to pick a crayon and then we need to get rid of this outer label. I'm just gonna take an X-Acto knife. I'm just gonna slice it straight down and then we're gonna, I was gonna say undress it, but that feels real wrong. Get it out of a shell. Mm, yeah, that's better. Okay, let's do that. There's already a problem. It's a little too big to go in the hot glue gun. Uh, so, Shave it down. How do we do this non-dangerously? Don't cut your fingers. It's red, so we can't tell if there's gonna be blood. It'll be fine. Let's see if that goes in there. <gasps> Ooh, that fits. First try. So we're gonna let that warm up for a second. Should I test this? <gasps> oh, it's melting the wrong way. Ah, oh, it's melting the wrong way. <laughs> I think I didn't shave it down enough. Oh, I can't get it out now. <laughs> so, in our learning process, we have learned the hot glue gun is not gonna work. That's okay, we're just gonna go back to basics. Time for a new plan. That's what you get for trying to go the quick and easy route. Now we're just gonna go slow, steady, the classical route with fire. So the same first steps apply. We're gonna get our crayon naked. That's like just really satisfying. Now you're gonna take your crayon and you need to cut it up into tiny pieces. If you want to, you can go ahead and use that X-Acto knife that we just used. Or I found this weird thing. It's some kind of kitchen gadget. It looks like it's just a crayon cutter or a medieval torture device. Either way, it's working really well for me today. It has a little blade that comes out and slices the crayon like so. If anybody knows what this is, please somebody tell me in the comments. I have no idea. So now that we've got that all prepared, we're gonna go ahead and light up our candle. So we we can get that going. Where did I put my fire source? <laughs> We're gonna light our candle. I'm so bad at this. And you're supposed to let the gas, wait, uh, let the gas and then, oh. mm -mm. got it. Now I'm just gonna use this little measuring spoon that I also found in the props department. You're gonna load up all your wax into your spoon and we're gonna put it over the fire. Mm, but this part's gonna take forever. Oh, it's melting! Okay, okay, I did not feel like this would actually work, but it's looking pretty good. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna stir it up a bit to get the pieces to melt evenly. This is going way faster than I thought it would. I'm a little bit panicked now. I don't know when it gets too hot. Oh, 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 it's smoking. I feel like that has to be it. We're gonna take it off the fire. We're going to pull our stamp. We're not gonna panic. I feel like it's really runny. 
Ooh, it feels like super watery. We're just gonna let it dry just a little. Please cool down. Okay, now we're gonna take it and we're gonna pour it onto our envelope. Oh, that could have been better. I feel like I could have done that better. Oh yeah, it's getting everywhere. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> we're gonna take our stamp and we're gonna put it in there. Oh, this is already wrong. This is very wrong. Nope, nope, nope. It's bleeding all into the envelope and all everywhere. But we've committed now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that looks right at all. Uh -huh. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I touched the uh, hot part of the spoon <laughs> when I was cleaning it. I don't know when to pull it off is the problem. I feel like I should wait till it, okay, it's hardened. No, no, <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look! That's not that bad! Okay, so yes, did it bleed through completely the envelope inside the letter and there would now look like a crime scene, yes. But there's also a beautiful rose. I don't think this is that bad for a first try. So it was definitely a bit runnier than I thought it was. I know that I've seen online that sometimes people add hot glue in with the crayons to make it a little denser. So I'm thinking I'm gonna add hot glue in with the little crayon bits and see how that works. So we've learned a lot from that first trial run. I had a little bit of an off-camera cutting party. Yeah, I got a little carried away, but that's fine. We're just gonna make like 50 of these. Where I've cut up a bunch of different colors for us, and then I did the same thing that I did with the crayons, with the glue sticks, and I cut those up as well. I also grabbed this paper clip, and I'm going to use it to stir up the wax while it's in there to make sure that everything's melting, so I don't have to use another crayon to do it. So we're gonna do the exact same thing we did before. We're gonna add the little crayon wax bits, but we're also then gonna add some of the glue stick and just a little bit of love and make the magic happen. It's already melting again. This time we're gonna take our paper clip and we're gonna stir it around to make sure everything gets melted. Just dunking those little hot glue bits in there. Do they feel like they're mixing together? Nope. Oh, actually maybe. Oh, look at that. It's getting like stringy. I'm gonna take it off the fire a bit and let it melt. You can still see the hot glue bits still haven't quite melted in there. So I'm just gonna keep stirring them in and taking it on and off the fire as I melt them. I wanna scorch it. I don't know if that's possible, but I don't want to do it. That's looking really pliable. Oh, this looks good. I think we did it. It's time. Maybe maybe I went too fast. We'll see. Oh, look how much thicker that is. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Should I just go now? Mm, right there. That looks really good. Mm, I don't want to get too excited, but that looks really good. I think it looks done. I think we did it. Oh my gosh, wow. It's perfect. It didn't bleed through or anything. We can check the other side. It definitely took a lot longer for the hot glue to melt in than I thought, but it definitely got incorporated after I stirred it for a little while with the paper clip. It's way thicker than it was last time. It actually looks much more like a legitimate wax seal. I think adding that glue really helped. Oh my gosh, forget DMs. We are going to be doing wax seals for 2020. To all the boys I've loved before, we're Laura Jeaning everyone. So we're gonna do one more practice one to make sure that that wasn't a fluke. Then we're gonna get fancy. Which one should we do this time? What do I want to use with the B? I could do gold with the B. Let's do gold with the B. I don't think you need like a lot of color. I think the ratio could easily be more hot glue to crayon bit because the color goes a long way. This really does take you back to a different time. I really do feel like a Jane Austen character who's about to like send off to her lover who's away. Dear Frederick, that's his name. Dear Frederick, it has been eons since last I writ to you. Now I must tell you, I'm engaged to another. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so dear John, let me know. <laughs> I, don't know why. I think this is about the consistency that we're going for. You want to have like a little bit of a string when you pull it up, I think. We're going to pour it right on there. Ooh. Okay, we put that down. Let's see. <gasps> Ooh, that one's pretty too. Look at that little bee. Well, now that I'm an expert, I think we should do some like more fun stuff. If I wanna do multiple colors, do I know how? No. Is this the worst idea I've ever had? 
Maybe. Is it gonna work? I really don't know. My plan is, is I'm gonna get one color going with the hot glue, and then I'm gonna put on the side the second color and let that melt too. I'm putting in a little bit of gray. I'm hoping for like a marbly effect. If that doesn't work, we'll try something else. I've got like four spoons and all the time in the world. We're gonna give this a go. Okay. That wasn't my best. Should we see? <gasps> okay, so that actually did work though. If you wanna make the words stand out a little more, you could just take like a gold Sharpie and just outline your words. Look how pretty that is. That looks really cool. Okay. What if we did three colors? And it's all in the wrist. Got a little out of hand, that one. This one's gonna be a big one. Wow. Look at that. Look at all the cool colors in there. This is it. This is my magnum opus. I can't do better than this. I had the best time. These all turned out honestly so great. I really loved doing this craft. It ended up being a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be after the debacle of the hot glue gun, which we shall never speak of again. It's very soothing at the same time too. Like cutting up of everything and then watching everything melt. It's like really like a peaceful, relaxing craft. So yeah, making wax seals with crayons, definitely doable. And I would definitely suggest that you give it a shot.